Well, hello there. Welcome to the live stream. I think my music is slightly too loud. There we go. Hello there. Welcome to the live stream. Today, I'm going to be fixing a broken keyboard. Well, by broken, I mean it's not working as I would like it to be working. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to do some tweaks with it. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Who knows? It could be broken. Um, if you remember this from my video, it had a warped plate. Uh, the plate was very warped. And I'm wondering if having it in its case for a couple weeks has solved the plate warping issues. I don't know if it solved the plate warping issues. We're going to find out. I'm kind of, I was kind of bored today, so I was kind of just like, hey, what if I just turn on the stream um, and we just play around with this? So that's what we might do today. We might take this little Sun 68 apart. Nice washer and dryer. Thank you so much, Pug Warrior 10. Um, I really, I really appreciate them. I figured I'd, I'd let them see it. I'd let them see what's up, you know? So we got our washer, we got our dryer. You know, it is what it is. Washing machine chan, dryer chan, you know the works. You know the works, you know it's good. If you've been here before on my channel, if you've watched these streams, you know we like washing machine chan, uh, washing machine chan, and then dryer chan, right here, there we go, dryer chan. Um, nice bed, thanks so much, yeah. Thanks so much. I made it myself. Not really. What keyboard are you repairing today? So we're gonna be repairing the Sun 68. Um, give me one second, let me just get this going. Hold on. Make the music a little bit quieter. There we go. Okay. YouTube videos. Uh, everyone. Hold on. Let me piss some people off. Uh, everyone. I am streaming again. Yeehaw. Okay. Great. So how are you guys doing? Um, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Um great to see you here. I've been gone for a little bit on a on a little hiatus. I went on a vacation. Hopefully you saw my vacation vlog, maybe. Hopefully you didn't cringe too hard, although that was kind of the point of the vlog was really to make you cringe. Um, this is the Sun 68. We'll be taking it apart today, seeing if it's uh, if it's been revived or not. Yeah, hippio hiatus. Cool keys. Thank you so much for the five dollars. Um, it appears that my stream, my stream goal is incredibly broken. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. So that's a good beta test for my stream goal. Apparently, it gave it five million points. Wow. That's great. What? Uh, what do I even do then? Hmm. That's very broken. <laughs> so, if it gave it 5 million points with one donation, what do I even do to fix that? If I wanted it to be at 500, does that mean I have to set it to 5 billion? Anybody know how math works? Anybody know how math works? Does that mean I add another zero or two zeros? Two zeros. Would it be 500 million? 500 million if it's $5. We're doing maths. Quick maths with Hippio here. So 500 times a million. Thank you so much, Bird Hat. You're great. You're the best, Bird Hat. Good maths. So maybe that's doing what I want it to do. We're going to find out. I'm experimenting with my with my goals today, um, the, these goals down here, because I'm trying to get ready for my join-a-thon, which I'll be doing sometime in the next week or two, maybe. Um, hi, Toby. Great to see you here. Hi, Matthew. Great to see you here. Um, I do have a new rap song. Um, some of you have maybe heard it. Some of my members have maybe heard it. Can I break it even more? Thank you, Cool Keys, for helping me test it out i appreciate you thank you for the three bucks let's see we'll see what happens it'll come through in a minute 
Um, oh, sorry, my exclamation point build is totally broken. You know, this it is what it is. You take a week or so break, you break everything. So that's what we're doing here. We're breaking everything. Can I break it even more? Mm, no, I think that worked. Yeah. Nice. Cool. That worked. All right. So yeah, a join-a-thon is YouTube's version of a subathon. Um, I'll be doing that sometime either next week or the following week. It depends on how my planning goes. I'm going to plan it all out this Friday. It could potentially be a 24-hour marathon stream. If you guys have ideas for the stream, please let me know in my Discord. Um, let me know if you have ideas. Let me know, um, is there something you'd like to see me do for 24 hours? Oh, Angelico, thank you so much for the 420, dude. Frickin' blaze it. Haha, <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, if there's something you'd like to see me do for my 24-hour stream, um, please write it down below. I have some ideas. Some of my ideas might be, um, I don't know, teaching Toby how to loop switches or some, I, you know, we're not currently. There's a small chance if this join-a-thon goes bad, I'm going to have to stream on Twitch, but we'll see. Dang boy, what'd that washing machine do? Oh, that washing machine gets my clothes nice and clean. Mm. Um, opinion on glorious pandas. Hmm. I haven't tried them yet. I haven't tried them yet. Stream dead? Hold on. Says my stream quality is good. Is it YouTube? It could be YouTube. YouTube is scuffed. Um, if you can hear me, it's going good on my end. I'm gonna make sure Steam isn't updating or anything. It's not showing anything on my end, so. Opinion on Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. I really love the Star Wars prequels. Jar Jar Binks is one of my favorite characters. I think Jar Jar Binks brings a lot of energy to Star Wars. Um, he's really the key to making the prequels good. Um, yeah. So I think Jar Jar Binks is the key. He's the key. Jar Jar Binks is the key. Audio's cutting in and out? No! Hold on. Hello, are we saved? Well, it's good that I'm taking this moment for a little hiatus. Um, I'm scaring everyone away by having the stream being scuffed. Kazoos, it's great to see you. My day's been going good. I woke up, I drank coffee, and now I'm here. Audio's desynced. Mm. Let me just turn that off. But yeah, Kazoos, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Hello, is it better? Bop, 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 bop. It should be like kind of sync now. Kind of sync now. Audio isn't scuffed. Everybody's telling me different things. I'm just going to do my own thing. You know, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, uh, the water is right here. I'm actually now, now I'm hydrating with my water bottle. Make sure you drink water. Hey guys, did you know I have merch? I do. I have merch. Mm. Audio isn't synced. Well, I don't know what to do about that. We're trying our best. We're trying our best. So, anyways. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kasus. Drink those NK creams. I do have merch. Exclamation point merch. It's pretty dope. It's pretty pog. Um, let me change the build for today on my Nightbot. Here, you guys can listen to my keyboard while I change the build. Okay. Here, I got you. Mmm. How's that ASMR? So the board sounds really good. I kind of just want to take it apart and 
Just kind of have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. But, you know, I'm having fun chilling. Um, so maybe I'll just chill for a tiny bit. Just to, just to say, hey, how's it going? These, actually, my friends, are um, KTT Roses. Isn't that crazy? The super budget switch KTT Roses actually sounds kind of good. How does the board taste? Kind of like um, aluminum. The title is not clickbait. Um, yeah, so we will be. Yeah. Yeah, it like it hit different. Yeah. Gross. Don't lick your keyboard. It tasted like like licking a spoon that somebody else has already licked. I don't like that. I don't like. I don't like that. Um. So right now we're just in the chill. We're chilling. Okay. From you. Hello, viewer. Hello. Hey. Viewer, how's it going? Hey. Thanks for viewing. I need you to tell me something you want to see me do during a 24-hour live stream. What should I do? What should I do? So number one, we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. That's already planned. A ton of giveaways. So many giveaways. It's going to be ridiculous. Number two, I have no idea. So that's why I need your input. What else am I going to do during a 24-hour stream? I think at some point we're going to play um, Valorant with some other keyboard content creators or Valorant or whatever you want to call it. Um, my audio is never going to be synced. I'm sorry. That's just, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's unsinkable. I think. I, I don't think I know how to sync it. I guess here's what I could do. Hold on. Buffering. Uh, okay, I like your ideas. So I'm going to be doing potentially a 24-hour stream. Um, let me deactivate my video on this end. And then reactivate it on this end. I wonder if that's going to sync it up. Who knows? This could be more synced. It could be less synced. It's like two seconds. It's not two seconds off. Ah. Ah. I'm looking at it on my end. It looks pretty okay call random people on discord that's a no-go um if the audio is super desync try refreshing your stream maybe let me i could pull up my stream on my on mine it's i would say attempt to refresh the stream because i think it's youtube's end i don't think it's my end um gasket mount a cat oh no i see people saying i need to do a hot tub stream that's an interesting take. I could get a hot tub. Um, Pug Warrior, don't spray lube. Um, I, go check out my song on spray lubing. Yeah. I could send you switches to lube for me. Panda, I gotta be honest with you. I have so many switches that I have to lube for me first. I have hundreds of switches that just need to be lubed before I could do like content with them. It's kind of a disaster. Yeah. Um, make resin keycaps again. That could be fun. The only problem with that would be ventilation in my room. Um, resin can get you pretty fricked up uh, if you're doing it in an unventilated space without like a proper respirator. But that is a good idea. I might, maybe I'll do like clay keycaps or something. Maybe I could get Tiny Makes Things to like coach me through making clay keycaps. That could actually be really fun. Maybe. I'll have to hit up Tiny, see what she thinks of that. That actually sounds really fun. It's actually YouTube's end? Okay, thanks, Zach. Um, Adam, that sounds like a great, fun time. I can send you boards to lick? Well, thank you, Bird Hat. Yeah, there's. I've always had, like... I just want to lick more boards, you know? Refreshing completely fixed it. Dope. Um, what's up with resin keycaps? Are they any good? Well, actually, I have a resin keycap on this board um, right here. Um, I have the really, really cool 8-bit one that was sent to me by Jelly Key. And they actually sound, like, pretty amazing. Like...
like versus I I think they're cool um it's mostly like an art thing like an aesthetic thing um yeah some of you have probably probably seen the the short hippio I got you semi switches and I'll lube and film them Ooh, okay I might actually need some lube services promise I have to pay someone um I'm sorry I'm sorry Sebastian I did not give you a notice that was my keyboard that disconnected you guys are okay you guys are doing great yeah so let me go over this keyboard and what I think the the diagnosis is so this is what we'll be tackling that was mine that was mine that was mine let me go over what we'll be tackling later in the stream so the gasket performance right now is just it's just none there's nothing um Part of that, I think, is the warp of the PCB. Um, but I don't really know what the deal is. Essentially, there's no gasket performance in this board. It feels identical to my ID80 crystal as far as gasket performance goes, where it's just like doing nothing. Although, hey, I have something that I can show you guys later. Not this stream, not this stream. But Ido Bao sent me, hold on. I could show you this, I could show you this. Ido Bao sent me a bunch of foam gaskets that they're gonna be sending to all the ID80 crystal people because they really just screwed the freaking, they, they really messed up on this one. They ended up sending everyone gaskets that just didn't make contact um there's a reason my id80 crystal is not in the frame right now that's because it has a keycap set on it that i cannot show you until later this week yeah that's kind of exciting right um so when i can show my keycaps that are on the id80 crystal I will be taking it apart and replacing the gaskets um, with thicker foam gaskets so that there's actual contact. It's not PBT Toby. If it was PBT Toby, I could show you. <laughs> Do you still have the yellow table or did you put it in the trash? So actually, the secret with my videos, why I have certain color voids, um, like some videos it's a yellow void, some videos it's a blue void, some videos it's a pink void or a purple void or whatever. Um, see you later, Josiah. Um, I have colored papers that I set out on my desk. And then I use little coasters to keep them. I use little coasters. And I keep keep them stable. Um, so I can change the color of my scene. What is that mouse pad? Well, I'm glad you asked. Thank you so much for asking. This mouse pad is my mouse pad. Um, it'll be going live on Kinetic Labs in the following months, for sure. It's... This is a prototype. Um, it was designed by a very, very talented pixel artist. There we go. And it's really, really dope. Oh, sorry, that actually murdered my white balance. So the, the colors are a bit off on stream. I shouldn't have had auto white balance on. But essentially, it's a very cool desk mat, and um, I'm very excited to share more info on this desk mat. Eager Sprout. Eager Sprout. Thank you, Zach. My brain went completely kabooey. Um, so Eager Sprout designed this. Um, basically, like we based it off of a lot of my photography. Um, I don't know if you can really see it in the background. Like I, I do a lot of photography. It's super out of focus, but... So I, I sent him some of my photography. I said, oh, I want coastal views. I want the Milky Way. I want a comet. And this man just freaking went boop, 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 boop. Real quick, made brilliant pixel art. Super talented. Eager Sprout's super talented. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, Eager Sprout on Twitter and Instagram. He is one of the most talented pixel artists I've ever seen. I, like, I literally can't shout him out enough. He's it's just absurd. I'll be doing stuff with him in the future for sure. For sure. Um, 
for a 24 hour stream sleep on a keyboard or switches that sounds like uh not that fun that sounds like not that fun what did you major in so i majored in marketing yeah some of you might have seen that i graduated um i went on a little three-day vacation to the coast i took some grad photos hopefully you saw my vlog what did you guys think of the vlog just like heart to heart what did you think for reference i spent an hour editing it that's it and i couldn't film half of it but what did you guys think was it a good vlog was it lame did you only watch two minutes of it um were my friends exciting uh how cringy was it it was supposed to be cringy that's if you if you thought it was cringy and you were like, ew, that's lame, it was supposed to be cringy. That was kind of the humor I was going for there. Um, epic. The vlog was amazing. Like, really good. It was sick, but so were you. I was sick. Yeah, I did get pretty sick. Um, I love Josh. He was funny AF. I love Josh. Josh is my favorite human. Josh is so amazing. I want to see you with your soldering skills try to do a through-hole kit. So... On my 24-hour stream, there's a small chance I'll do, like, a learn learning soldering segment. Um, I have the ID96. You know what? I could show off the ID96. Why not? Um, why not? I'll show it off. Yeah. So, I have the ID96. I enjoyed it greatly. Well, thank you. Um, vlog was enjoyable. I watched your content for you first and foremost. So the variety was nice. Well, thanks, Joseph. I really appreciate people connecting with, like, different content that I produce. Because kind of, like, my creative energy is very chaotic. Like, I can go and be like, I'm reviewing a board. I'm reviewing a board. I'm reviewing a board. And then I'm like, I want to do something different. And then I put out something different, and I'm like, whatever. Hopefully people like it. Um... With stuff like the Reddit reviews, people obviously didn't like that. And that's fine. Um, it's okay to just have, like, stuff that I do on stream or whatever. It's it's totally fine. Um, hi, Ala. Great to see you on stream. I like the climbing vid at the end of the vlog so close. I know. I was so sore. Um, it, it the, the story with that rock climb is I've been wanting to tackle it for years. I had finally found it. It's really hidden on the coast. Um, it's really hard to find. It's a very difficult approach to get there because you have to hike over a lot of kind of sketchy rocks with your crash pads and it's very windy, etc. Um, yeah, so like that rock climb was a doozy. It's very difficult, very physically demanding. The, the holds on that rock climb are so sharp. That my fingers were like super cut up for like quite a bit of time um but anyways so here i have the idobao id96 idobao is starting to include these new things that teach you how to install switches so you don't pop out hot swap sockets and they've got a cute little idobao card oh sorry cute little idobao card full disclosure idobao is a sponsor sometimes <laughs> they're a sometimes sponsor is that a new camera? Um, no, it's just I've, I've got it on my face right now. Oblivious. Yeah. What's your favorite gather on optical switch? I actually really like optical browns. Um, I know that sounds like a meme, but I lubed up optical browns once and they felt incredible. Um, I think my fastest words per minute ever is actually on that board. Um, any Icky 68 Aurora review planned? Um... I might check out a prototype at some point on stream. Um, I, I've i talked to Wuche. Um, I'll, I'll probably get one sometime in the future. Yeah. Optical browns are totally different than, than regular browns, though. They're like, the only similarity is that they're brown. Um, anyways, so the ID96 comes with your standard Idobao toolkit. Um, you've got your screwdriver. You've got your spare screws. You've got this USB-C cable that I've seen hundreds of times. Great, you know, whatever. Um, now, here's the Idabao ID96. Um, this is a 
what is a 96% or whatever the hell it's called. Or it has 96 keys. I forget. 95%? I don't know. I, whatever. But essentially... Essentially... There you go. So it looks exactly like an ID80. Same, same design language. Same... Super thin back plate. Um, 96% is right. Sure. But this is a through hole solder kit. This thing, it terrifies me. Yikes. It actually does have like pretty good kitting support though. Um, and this honestly seems like a doozy to me. So it supports like a lot of random stuff. You can get like this, the stepped caps lock here. Um, there's some weird stuff going on with the space bar. Um, I think it, does that mean it supports a 7U? I think that means it supports, oh, it might support a 6 or a 6.25, something like that. Um, those stabilizers have no factory lube, so that's good to know. It does actually have uh, foam installed, though. I don't know if you can see this. You can see it's got um, foam in between the plate and PCB. So this is the ID96. Um, I'm not sure if the final version will be hot swap or not. But I guess it's it's good to see Idobao experimenting with different layouts. But it's sad to not see them experimenting with different designs. Like, I think it'd be pretty cool to see them fixing some of the hollowness issues just from the start. I think that would be much cooler. Um, I can only assume that there's no foam in this. Let me take it apart real fast. I can only assume there's no case foam. Everybody place your bets. Do you think there's foam in this? Place your bets. Foam or no foam? Foam or no foam? What do we think? Favorite GMK set? Um... Probably laser? Maybe? You guys think no. Oh, thank you for the wows, by the way. Yeah, everybody say wow for a wow stick. Thanks. Everybody says no foam. I'm so sweaty. It's There's a heat wave going on right now, so I'm just so warm and sweaty. Everyone thinks no foam. Wow. Let's find out. No foam. Yeah. So the back. It's so see-through without the hot swap sockets. All right. I'm a little bit curious as to why they put a through-hole kit in here. Um. I guess maybe I could get some Milmax sockets and try learning to solder those in. Um. That sounds like a massive headache, though, especially from the lead fumes. Like, that's a lot of sockets. There's a small chance I just won't build this. Well, actually, there's a decent chance I just won't build this. Um, but yeah, that's the ID96. I know nothing about it. Idobao didn't tell me they were sending this. Um, I got my pop filter on Amazon floppers. Wow. Yeah, so embrace the fumes. See, I don't want, like, I already have so many health issues. I don't want lead fumes to be the thing that takes me out, you know? Maybe, Toby, you want to come over and learn how to solder at the same time that I learn how to solder on stream? That sounds fun, right? That sounds so fun. Wow. Wow. Repaint it with some metallic paints. Oh, that could actually be kind of cool. Could do a paint job for it. I might just ask him to send me a hot swap PCB because I just don't have time to solder 96 switches uh, right about now. 
Hey, custom. Great to see ya. Yeah, you know, you, you ever just want to get lung cancer with your homies while you solder? All my homies get lung cancer on stream. It's such a good homie activity. Yeah. But anyways, this is the ID96. Um, you can check it out on Idobao's website. Seems kind of nice. You know what? I have other mail I can show you. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I have so much mail. Ah, oh, damn it. I just spilled switches all over my floor. Oopsie. I didn't realize the bag was open. So I, I just, they just went, boop. I'll have to clean that up later. Anyways, I've got some mail. Um, shout out Glarses. Can we, uh, can we get some MX Browns in the chat? MX Brown funny, haha. MX Brown funny, haha. Haha, ha, ha. MX Brown funny. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, MX Brown funny, ha 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 ha. That makes Ben funny, ha 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 ha. I would get so sick of people saying it makes Ben funny if I was Glarses. Here's the Glarses, Matt. I paid my own money for this. Um, the USPS lost it in shipping for roughly two and a half weeks. Um, but yeah. Here's my Glarses, Matt. It's purple. Um... It's, uh, I think it's literally the same manufacturer that does the Kinect Labs mats, maybe? Not too sure. Um, but, you know, bruh, or whatever. Bruh. You know, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a cool mat, I guess. Yeah, I was actually shocked that they found the the mat that got lost. I was really proud. The USPS didn't didn't do me dirty for once. Um, I have another desk mat. This desk mat is a prototype from Kinetic Labs, um, which is on sale in the description if you like it. So if you like this, you could check it out in the description. I think. Click on my Kinetic Labs link. Or exclamation point KL, I think, also should do that. That's a pretty cool mat. So we got a spaceman. Let me just stand up. We got a spaceman looking out at his little space base. And then... It's a cool little spaceship. Yeah. That's pretty nice. This is the Celestial mat from Kinetic Labs. This is their prototype mat that they sent me. Um, I think it's for sale now. But I'm just now getting around to looking at it. Sorry, key bon bon. I've been gone, gone. But yeah, so it does look like a poster from a 90s classroom. You're so right. Yo, custom niches, welcome back to the Watering Hole Gang. That's our first membership of the stream. It's great to see you here again. Fantastic to see you here again. Let me drink some water in your honor. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for doing the exclamation point join. Welcome back to the Watering Hole. Um, but yeah, so this mat, honestly pretty cool. Uh, I really like space. I think space is dope. I kind of wish there was a little bit more, like, action in the night sky up here. But I think in general, it's pretty cool. I like the space man. So that's kind of pog. Um, okay, other packages. Other packages with Hippio time. So these are what I spilled all over my floor. These are what I spilled all over my floor. 
And I can check these out on for full on a later stream. Um, these are the salmon switches from Kinetic Labs. They are a tactile reminiscent of the Holy Panda. They have a cute little salmon color with a weird orange stem, or not or orange bottom housing and a white stem. They have a long spring. I forget the actuation force. And they have a very pronounced top bump. Honestly, I think they're a little bit spring pingy and um, I would not use these stock. I think the typical trend with a Kinetic Lab switch is you just don't use it stock. Um, if I lube these up, I will lube the legs for sure. I do not like big top bumps. Um, like already my first impressions of this is it just kind of feels like a, a sharper return on a Holy Panda. Like a Holy Panda with a sharper return. So not the biggest fan. Um, but I think it would probably sound good lubed. I'm just not tactile gang, honestly. So I'll check these out at some point. Um, I will lube the legs. I'll do like a full stream checking out the Kinetic Lab switches. Here's another switch though. This switch is really cool. Um, hold on. What's today's date? <laughs> Am I? Okay, we're in June. We're good. <laughs> There's a little sticker on these that says, do not show these until a specific date. Um, so we're good, we're good. We're in June, we're good. Oh, hello, Gion. Um, today we're just checking out some random fun mail, um, and then I'll be fixing my Sun 68. So these are the Husky switches from Kinetic Labs. They were previously unannounced, and I think they've just now been announced. I know very little about these switches other than that they're linear, they have a Kinetic Labs logo on them, and they look pretty freaking cute. They I, I, they honestly remind me more of Oreos than a Husky, but that's fine. Or like a Cookies and Cream. Um, also, I'm super excited to take a look at the Frog TKL. I'm very stoked on the Frog TKL. Um, so let's give a little sound test of these stock. Oh, actually though? Yeah. Still very spring pingy. So the general verdict with Kinect Lab switches is they're made to be lubed. Um, like at least their official line of like animal switches. So like if you're buying any of these, expect to lube them. Do not, if you want a switch that's good unlubed, don't buy a Kinetic Lab switch. Um, buy like their Duroc series or something. Um, okay. So anyways, we have a task here today. And our task here today is to fix this keyboard. That was my keyboard. I unplugged it. It was mine. It was mine. You're fine. You're good. So, um, place your verdicts in the chat whether or not you think I'll be able to get the gasket working better. I'm going to say no. I'm straight up going to say no. Hippio, could you please say howdy hey? Howdy hey. There you go. <laughs> Are you happy? I'm assuming no, I won't fix this. Just for the record. I'm probably not going to fix this. Oh. Sorry. Hey guys, Vlog Hippio back again. Look at me, I'm back again. It's Vlog Hippio live on a stream. Yeah, I was teasing Vlog Hippio the whole time. I just didn't even know it. Okay, hold on. There we go. This is my scuffed setup. There we go. Why is that white balance so off? Hold on. 
Alright, that's at least better-ish. It's kind of green, though. Hold on. That's better. Okay. So this is the Sun 68. Um, let me go over to my full DSLR. There we go. So this is my Sun 68. It's a little bit scuffed. Oh, wait. Let me plug it in real fast. Just so I can resize my, my webcam, because my webcam's way too big. There we go. My webcam's smaller now. Also, yeah, look at this, guys. It's a new rap song. Um, I have a new rap song in production. I'll give you guys a preview on stream if we hit this goal, but I don't think we're hitting this goal today. So, <laughs> yeah. There we go. So, that was mine. That was mine. You're fine. So, here's the deal with this keyboard, right? You see it going up and down, but that's almost all my desk mat. Like, none of that's the gasket. Like, the gasket's doing, like, literally nothing. Um, Hippio versus Teja diss track when? Never. I like Teja. Never. Teja liked my rap, I think. I would never diss him. Okay, so I'm gonna just undo this. I'm gonna undo all these screws. We're gonna see what the damage is like. So previously when we assembled this, if you watched my video on this board, um, it was super warped. Super duper warped. Um, what does the number mean? Yeah, so for some reason, um, my sub goal is like super broken. Uh, and I'm going to have to figure out a new goal for my subathon. I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of going to the drawing board for that one. Um, but essentially, it's it says 500 million points, but really it's just 500 dollars, I think. Wait, hold on. Now I'm actually really confused. So the super chat is multiplied by a million but then the other one is a multiple of three so like when somebody subbed it only did three points I oof, oh that's a headache I'll figure that out later I'll figure that out later anyways let me just undo some of these screws I yeah I wish I was that wealthy yeah, please donate $500 million to my stream. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you for the test, Joseph. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so we're just slowly taking this bad boy apart. Um, wow. Wow. A membrane disc track. Insane in the membrane is just the whole disc track. That'll go over well. Okay. So let me take the top plate off. So. Oh. I think it went up by 2 million. Joseph, I think it went up by 2 million. Oh yeah, it's uh, the warp has not fixed over time. It's still very warped. So the the whole deal with this is that the plate that they sent me didn't work with Duroc V2s. So I tried to clip it. Um, I tried sanding it. I tried really everything under the sun, no pun intended. Um, and it just would not work. Bend it back. Oof. I was debating just unscrewing the um, the standoffs that are in here. But, I mean... I don't know. So, I have like one idea. I have one idea, and I'm going to try and do that idea. And my idea was, I installed the stabilizers wrong-ish. So, 
Did only Andy get the fixed plate? Yeah, I think they gave Andy special treatment. Gave him the fixed plate. I don't think Velocifier liked me. Because um, I was like, bro, your plate is broken. But that's, you know, it's fine. We like Andy. Uh, boop. So I think what I'll do. I think what I'll do. Here's my strategy. I'm laying out my strategy, my game plan. First, I'm going to order some breakfast. <laughs> so I'm going to order some breakfast. Or, okay, hear me out, guys. Teriyaki chicken or an egg sandwich? Teriyaki chicken or an egg sandwich? Teriyaki chicken or an egg sandwich? Which do we do? If you could eat. Um, breakfast is a very important part of this build. Hmm. Hmm. Egg sandwich. Uh-oh, okay. I see lots of egg sandwiches. Hold on. Let me... Let's see if I can swing this. Okay, so many egg sandwiches. Okay, okay, jeez. Jeez, guys. Jeez. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. Hold on. I'll get an egg sandwich. I'm also going to get some pizza crusts while I'm at it, though. Um... God, that's going to be so expensive. Whatever. It's for the pizza crusts. I'll do teriyaki for lunch if the stream goes that long. Okay, I'm placing the order. I'm getting the egg sandwich. It'll be here in 25 minutes. Or 30 minutes. And then I can eat an egg sandwich. Okay, order's been placed. Um, yeah. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I wonder if this is going to mess up how good the stabilizers sound. I mean, the spacebar doesn't sound good. I can fix the spacebar while I'm at it. Hold on. So, the left side ticks. Um, is the manufacturing the same for... PBOW is the PBT Vaporwave? I would assume so. I don't see why they would get a different manufacturer. Oh, I left my switch puller downstairs. I'll be right back. Be right back. Okay. All right. We're back. Hippio, I have a question. What's your question? Thoughts on Panda Express? I used to really like Panda Express. Now I can't eat anything there. Feels bad, man. Okay. So, I'm just going to pop out the switch. Wait, do I need to pop out the switch to take out the stabilizers? Yes. 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 I'm going to remove the stabilizers. Um, real fast. Oh, if I'm removing stabilizers, I don't want this desk mat here. Actually, hold on. I need to switch to a different desk mat. This desk mat is pristine, and I cannot ruin it. What switch is that? KTT Roses. Best linear switch. That's such a silly question. It's preference. It's preference. Okay, so <laughs> perfect. <laughs> this is great. All right. Yeah, now we've got a better desk mat. Did my music stop? My music didn't. It's just really quiet. Ah, eh, there we go. 
Did it get quieter? That's kind of weird. Yeah, we got the Glarses mat. Well, thank you, Levi. My preference is superior? Oh my god. Obviously, my preference is superior. Wait, am I gonna have to remove the plate? Uh, maybe. Hold on. Let me think. Yeah, I am. Uh, I don't want to do that. That means I'd have to remove all the switches. I just thought about that. Hold on. I realized, look at what they did. There's no cutout. There's no cutout. You have to fully disassemble. I didn't, I never even thought about that. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, so essentially the, the board is warped and I was thinking I was just gonna replace the stabilizers. Um, but now I'm thinking maybe it's not even worth my trouble because it's working like okay enough. But that might just not even be worth my trouble. I don't think I feel like fully disassembling this and reassembling it. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. Why are you spamming F? Just because you want to get banned, bro? Bro. 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 Alright, let me just hand out bands like the candy. There we go. Nice. Just bend it back. Duh. Duh. Okay. So I'm thinking real fast. I'm thinking. So there's no good way to remove the space bar. Heck, there's no good way to remove any of these stabilizers. Is this going to be a video? No, it won't. It won't be a video. This is a stream exclusive. This is a stream premiere. This is stream only. Is it soldered? No, it's not soldered. Um, but it is screwed in with standoffs. All right, I think this is not worth my time, guys. So KTT roses. KTT roses. Like, I can fiddle with it a little bit. Does your rock climbing gym do appointment slots? Um, I think so, yeah. Well, hello. Where are the screws for the standoffs? Let me unscrew those. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go by ear. Like, I could try and, I could try and speed run this. Undo all these standoff screws. Um, really try my best. <sighs> there we go. Did my keyboard break? No, it didn't break. It, it was kind of shipped to me broken, um, honestly. So, essentially, here's the issue for any of you joining. Um, the plate is super warped because of the stabilizers not fitting. I have a very small hunch of what could potentially help, but I don't think it'll help that much. But we're going to find out, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to find out. So... I'm gonna undo some of this. I'm gonna try my super duper sketchy technique for assembly and disassembly. And I don't recommend it at all. Okay. Yo, you're wearing my merch? Yo, shout out to anybody that bought my merch. Uh, exclamation point merch if you're curious um, but yeah howdy Tyler good to see you here 
Hey, do you guys want a cool little icon next to your name like Tyler? Then consider hitting exclamation point join or the join button down below. Then you too can look just as cool. All right. So I'm removing the screws that are standoff screws. Um, so I can potentially disassemble the board. I need some help. Some of my keys ain't working. How do I fix? Well, thanks for the five bucks, Marcus. Um, that's a very interesting troubleshooting issue. If your board is hot swap and you assembled it yourself, odds are there's bent pins. If not, I recommend joining my Discord and uh, sending them some screenshots and pictures and stuff. Then you could probably get some help. Yeah. I think that's all the holes, right? Um, maybe. Maybe. So there's one. Standoff, two standoffs. I'm checking for standoffs right now on the bottom. So there's one, two. I swear there's more than two. But maybe there's only two. Is there really only two that are screwed in? Three. Uh, four. I think that's it. All right. So let me undo the stabilizers. Undo the stabilizers. Go literally insane. Can you review the DNA 65 from Drop or AliExpress at some point? Uh, it's not in my plans, but you know, I would never write something entirely off. Um, but yeah. You know, if you ever want me to review anything, just pay me, uh, you know, 500 bucks. I'll, I'll review it for you. It's a bit of a meme, but it's kind of funny. Okay, so here I go. I am disassembling the, sorry, it's out of focus for you guys, but you'll just have to bear with me. Taking the stabilizers out. I'm just gonna try this. I don't know, we'll see if it works. Ah, did I lose my washer? Where did my washer go? Ah, oh, it's tedious hippio time. Tedious hippio time. Hippio does tedious things, tries not to get too annoyed. It's a good deal for a review. It's honestly not that bad of a deal for a review. Oh man. I want Hippio to make the best Howdy Hayes compilation. Maybe one day. Howdy hey, 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 there you go, I hope you appreciate that, anything for my members, Steon, gotta treat my members right, gotta treat my members right, bum bum bum, what switches are those? KTT Roses. KTT Roses. Let me unscrew this. Okay. So, now all of our stabilizers are unscrewed. I think I'm good to remove the... and switches from do not try this at home I repeat do not try this at home this is dumb and you should not do it this is not the way to remove switches from a PCB do not try this at home do not try this at home do not try this at home how many more times can I say don't try this at home don't freaking try this don't try this. Are you thinking about trying this? Don't. Stop. Stop thinking about trying it. 
Okay. That worked surprisingly well. Nice. One set of stabilizers stayed for some reason. Yeah, you could try it at work for sure. Ah, Fenny, thanks. What do I do if my well-leveled spacebar stabs make a tick when I tap lightly? Well, there's a couple different ways you could troubleshoot that. Um, generally, that means that your wire is making some type of contact and you might just need a tiny bit more lube. Um, but there's various degrees of troubleshooting. It could be making a tick because it's making contact with your plate. Oh, no wonder, I forgot to take off the switch here on the stabilizer. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Um, hot swaps the whole board in one go. Yeah, honestly, it's my secret hidden technique and you should not try it. It's incredibly dumb and incredibly risky, but it does save time. And you know what we're here to do? We're here to save time. Because I'm lazy as heck. Hippio tech? More like lazy as heck. Am I right, gamers? Pog. Pog, pog, pog. Um, are my switches not working because I didn't resolder them? Well, Marcus, it depends if you're using a hot swap PCB or not. Um, there's a chance if you're using hot swap PCB that your sockets blew out when you're putting them in. Potentially you put them in wrong. Um, there's a lot of different degrees to switches not working. It could be that you have bent pins. Um, these little pins, this is a switch pin. This right here is a switch pin. It can get bent very easily and that will prevent it from working in a hot swap socket. So you gotta be careful when you're putting switches in. You gotta be a real hippio to mess something up like that. Okay, so the PCB itself is not warped, all right? You hear me? It's not warped. So that's good to know. So since I'm here, I'm gonna lube up the stabilizer a little bit. Um, hold on, how did this go in? Which way? So, like that. It went in like this. So this is the left side that's ticking. So I need to fix the left side of this stabilizer. Let me just give you guys a better, slightly better camera angle. Uh, like less, or more zoomed out. There we go. And then let me grab my lube real fast. Whoa, bro, is that a Hippiotech lube pouch from Hippiotech's merch store? Oh my gosh, dude. You can get this pouch by typing exclamation point merch and clicking the link and then getting this? Bro, all the cool kids keep their lube in there? That's sick, bro. Nice. <laughs> I heard you can keep all your lube in here. Um, space bar. <laughs> I don't want to read that out loud, Fenny, but thank you. Um, here is my thought. My first thought, Fenny, is that potentially... So, like, you see how lube this is, right? It still makes a ticking noise. So it could be that I've done something wrong. Hold on. So I'm just listening to my stabilizers right now. Okay, so I think there's not enough XHT BDZ on this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a napkin or two or three. Get a couple napkins so you don't ruin your desk mat. Um, and then I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna add a little bit of lube to it. So there's a process to this, right? I'm gonna lube up the stem more, the stem itself. Where's my switch? Hold on, my, I need my stem holder from under my desk. Okay, 
So, that dono kind of made me cringe, but you know, it's for the best, I guess. So I think personally, I don't have enough lube on this. On the outside of my stem. So I'm gonna put some lube on the outside of my stem. And a, a decent amount even. I'm gonna really give it a nice hardy coating. Uh-oh, I got some XHT BDZ on the outside of my stem. Oh, so I'm gonna have to wipe that. Wipe that clean. I don't want XHT BDZ on my stem. That will make it very, very, very sluggish. And we don't want very, very, very sluggish. Okay, but you see how thin the layer on my wire was? And this was the side that was ticking. So, sorry, it's not focusing as well. So it could just be that I need just a tiny bit more XHT on this. So I'm gonna get a tiny bit more XHT. Bruh. You like the bruh, Matt? Bruh. Good. So this is my brush for my XHT BDZ. And then here's my XHT BDZ. I like a very dummy thick layer of on my on my uh, switches or stabilizers. Sorry. So I'm just gonna paint this on more thick. And now hopefully this will solve my issue. It could not be. It could not solve my issue. There's also holy modding. Shout out. Um, I think Hamaji Neo is a big proponent of it. He's not the inventor, of course. But he is a big proponent of the holy mod. Um, okay, so two holes goes on this side. Sorry if you can't see that much right now. So I'm just going to glob this guy back in there. That should be a little bit better, at least. It might not be perfect. Um, hello. If you're just tuning in, I'm tuning my stabilizers. I might need to retune them later, but at least it's slightly better now. Exactly. So you lube the wire so it can slide easily. Usually what makes the ticking noise is the wire colliding with the inner housing and it kind of like rattling around in there. But there's so many different variables that can affect your stabilizer tuning. Um, also, I appreciate the donations. Thank you, Fenny. Hmm. Um, it makes it a lot easier to read a chat when it's a donation. You like the bruh? You like the bruh? Good. Okay, so here's our PCB. Hey, Reconix. Great to see you. Great to see you here. So, are you a fan of the Holy Mod? Honestly? No, simply because I think it would take too much effort and time. And I really don't like tedious things. Like, I really don't like tedious things. And that sounds incredibly tedious to me. Like, incredibly tedious. So, I think that's what they wanted me to do. There we go. I, I hate everything tedious. If there's something and it's tedious, I hate it. Like this, like putting in stabilizers, super tedious. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Especially when you've added different tedious variables. What do you think about kale box switches? Um, I actually haven't tried any kale box switches. I know, crazy, right? So, let me give you a slightly better view of this. 
There we go. I don't actually think I need the washers for these because I'm doing it this way. So I don't think I'm gonna use the washers. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I'm just gonna do this. Oh, ow. Come on. You freaking screw. This is what I meant by I hate tedious things. Most of my streams are just watching me struggle with a wow stick and mini screws for just hours. A good daily load of cherry browns. Ugh, I like cherry browns. Oh, are you trying to say the F word? F cherry browns? Honestly, I kind of like cherry browns, all right? Glarses knows that I like cherry browns, and that's fine, because Glarses understands that this hobby is preference. You know? MX Brown funny, haha. -ha. MX Brown funny, haha. -ha. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Both. Okay. So. Ah. And putting these in is actually more tedious than normal. Ah. That's so frustrating. There we go. We did it. I'm gonna try it without the washers first. Simply because with the washers sounds like hell. That sounds like managing three tedious things at once. Plus this thing literally acts as a washer, so I think it's okay. I think that's okay. You just ordered the parts for your first custom keyboard? Well, that's pretty pog, dude. That's pretty freaking pog. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. Sorry you can't see as much. It's kind of hard to get an angle of this. I need a top-down camera one day. Once I move, I'll get a good streaming setup, I promise. We were supposed to actually move at the end of this month, and then some things have changed. So I might not be doing that. There could be a different timetable to this. There we go. I'm gonna make sure that these properly work. What build is this? This is the Sun 68. Um, I do have a video out on this board already, actually. Um, so you can check that out on my channel. Only recently got into this hobby. Love your content. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Kieran. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. My switches don't work since I might have burned through it. Yeah, if you burn a pad while soldering, you're kind of fricked. Um, yeah. So, like, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. If you burn a pad, you burn a pad. Okay, let me put this in. Almost line it up. There we go. It's almost lined up. There we go. But yeah, don't burn through pads. That's uh that's a no-go. There we go. Yeah, so if you're wondering what I'm doing right now. I'm taking these little tiny pads and lining them up to <laughs> reinstall my stabilizers, which is incredibly frustrating. Incredibly frustrating. But we're trying our best. Is it possible to melt your pins while soldering? That's a good question. I don't know. I have no idea. Anybody more experienced in soldering want to chime in on that one? Can you melt your pins while soldering? 
I'd assume at that point you've already burned a lot of other things. Right? Um, maybe Marcus. I, I would check my Discord. Uh, send some pictures in there. There are people more experienced with soldering. They can help you troubleshoot. It's hard for me to do tech support while I'm... Uh... Yeah, I figured you would melt the plastic first. Ansel! Welcome back to the watering hole, gang. It's great to have you here again. Let me drink some water in your honor. Mm. Freaking cheers. I hope you're doing well, Ansel. Good to see your face. Okay, let me do this. Boop, boop, boop. It's so cute. Okay, let me do that. So yeah, essentially these little things are like clamping down on the stabilizers. It's very odd. Oh, now the washer doesn't want to come off. That's cool. Now when I actually don't want the washer on my screw. Um, you won't be able to burn through copper with the soldering iron. The plastic will melt before it. All right, thanks. Thanks, Benny. Good to know. Very good to know. Oh, that, dang it, heck, heck, dang it, there we go, yeah, I'd assume copper has a way higher melting point than something like lead, and obviously plastic, but, you know, always good to be sure. There we go. We're getting there. Even lead won't vaporize while soldering. Interesting. So when you get fumes while soldering, isn't that the lead? I know some of it's the rosin, which is pretty bad for you. I don't, I honestly am very inexperienced with soldering and I am not the YouTuber or resource you should go to when it comes to soldering. My soldering experience is re-soldering on hot swap sockets. That's it. It's the flux. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, I'm learning new things today. That's good. I think flux fumes will still give you cancer, right? Uh, pretty sure. You know, I'm not a doctor, but you should do a solder plateless build. I I want to do a solder, like, learning how to solder video at some point. So, potentially. Some point in the future. Well, that just doesn't work. These little teeth on here just, uh, I think need to be sanded down. Let me see if I can sand them with my finger. Okay, nope, it's not the lead, it's the flux. Copper melting point is 1000 C and most of the irons get at max 500 C. Cheap ones get 250 to 300. Ah, you learn something new every day. There we go. Alright, 
This one, should I build a custom keyboard or customize a pre-built? That's a great question, Marcus. That's really up to what you want. I don't think these are gonna work on this side. No. Hmm. It works right here. Let me screw this one in. See if I can get the other one easier after I screw this side in. Sorry, I'm just fiddling. I'm trying to read chat. GMK lead times make me mucho sad, bro. If I got a song for you. Oh man. Just wait until my mixtape drops. Hello, Johannes. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're almost done. Um, okay, okay, okay. At least these aren't more grease stabs. I'd be having like a freaking rage. Oh, okay. Rip. Um, Fenny, I, I have almost an identical build uh, on my channel actually. Oh wait, no, I actually, I got rid of that review. It was HK Gaming, and I didn't want to support HK Gaming. But, yeah, that'll work. I really like the K87. I think it's a very versatile beginner build. It's pretty pog. Pretty pog. Okay. I think we're done. Oh. Hey, Jorge, you replaced your freaking switches with 96, 96 lubed hippos. Oh my gosh. Mm. We were just talking about earlier in the stream how I don't want to lube um, and, and solder in 96 switches. So that's kind of topical. Okay, now I'm gonna try this without the standoffs, okay? I'm gonna try this without the standoffs for first. No standoffs first. The NK65 is a pretty decent build. Honestly, it's not the best, but it's pretty decent. It's a fair recommendation if it's in stock. Um, I don't like HK Gaming because of their attitude towards designers, primarily. They're incredibly toxic as a company. Um, it's one thing if they made like certain arguments as to why their clone sets are kind of okay. Um, the way they treat designers and other members of the community though, pretty uncool. So I just, I personally don't like them. And that's my personal opinion. Like, I expect businesses to have a certain code of ethics, and theirs just doesn't. <laughs> they just, they're like, ethics? Hold on, what are, what's that? I hardly know it, you know? HK Gaming is not a French brand. That is like a stupid rumor. Um, they're, they're in Hong Kong. They, yeah. I've heard that rumor before. I don't know where that came from but it's just untrue. So I think this plate is just warped. It's okay to form your own opinions on everything though.
And I mean, if you bought HK caps because you didn't know HK's deal, that's fine. You're not like a bad person for not researching the keycaps that you don't really care that much about because you're on a budget. They do provide a good service of budget keycaps. I can't fault them there. They're, they're not a French company. <laughs> like, but they ain't. Um, so at the review that I deleted of the K87 wasn't for the K87, it was of HK Gaming's puddings. I still have a K87 review and mod video. for this the reassembly the scuffed reassembly ultra scuffed reassembly here we go Remember me. How many pins am I going to bend? A hundred million? hundred million pins. Don't try this at home, by the way. Did I already mention that? I think I already mentioned that. I'm going to start with the corners, and then I'll work my way around. Don't try this at home. Gotta watch it. Yeah, you gotta watch it. It's a good one. Uh-oh. bent pins can Hippio bend if Hippio could bend pins? A lot. There we go. There's one. We fixed one bent pin, boys. We did it. This is so scuffed. I don't even know if this will work like this. Okay, there we go. Okay. How much money you got? A lot. How many pins you bent? A lot. That's true. One to 10, how scuffed is it right now? Oh, definitely a 10. I hit him with the don't try this at home, Toby. This is what we do on my stream. Really, really dumb methods of... Oh, the warp is so bad. It's so bad. This is the worst. 
This it actually got worse, I think. I think the warp got worse. Alright, at least 100 pins bent. Let's go. Speed run. Speed run. What's your plan for that warp? I have no plan. It was, I was trying to fix this warp by doing what I'm currently doing. Um, I think it's technically better actually. I think it's less warps now. But um, not by much. Not by much. It's still so war- I mean, you saw it before, right? How many of you saw this before? It was really warped. I think using five pin switches might actually help with the warp. Let me take this switch out, because it's crooked as frick. Wait, actually? Hold on. So saved? <laughs> That warp is so bad. Switches are just falling out. That's not how a switch is supposed to go in. Okay. How's it going, Hippia? Soaking it in warm water? So here's the problem with it. The warp is caused by the stabilizers. Um, so I could replace the stabilizers and that would solve the warp. However, I don't have stabilizers that would actually solve the warp. So I think I'm just stuck with eternal warp. I could put the standoffs back in. I guess. Um, I could also just put it in the board. It's less warped now, though. This is less warped than how we started. This is significantly less warped than where we started. So I would say slight win. Here's the question, though. This is the million dollar question. Is if we assemble it, Will it get worse? That's the million dollar question. So when I finally get this working, will it be worse? Or will it be better? Great question, Hippio. I know. Oh, I know. So I think actually I consider this a net win. It's about 1% less warped. And if they send me a plate that works in the future, then I can revisit this. But yeah, in general, it's slightly better. So, slight win at best. Slight win at best. Hardly, but... Marginal gains. We're here for like a 1% gain. That's what we're here for. We're not here for anything crazy. We're not gonna be greedy. I'm not greedy. I'm Hippiotech, you know? Uh-oh. That's um, it's a little bit Willy Wonka-y though, right there. The two keys that aren't sitting flush in their plate. 
I think the core issue here is that their flex, uh, that they've cut into their PCB is like making the warp worse. On these like couple switches. I might have to fix these later. This is bent pins. I, I haven't tested it with different steps. I actually like only have Duroc steps because I like Duroc steps so much. And for a board to not support Duroc stabs in 2021, the year of our Duroc, like, oof, you know? I think it was just those two switches that are having issues. Other than that, I think we're okay. The things that might fix this, hypothesis-wise, would be five pin switches and then different stabs. So five pin switches and different stabs would probably help. Um, yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna put some keycaps on here. And then I'm gonna reassemble it. Wait, does my spacebar not work? Because of how warped it is? That ticks so bad. Because of the warp. That ticks so bad because of the warp. Let me shoot a little bit. Oh, that's carbon. Where's my Permatex syringe? Permatex syringe? Where have you gone? There you are. So there's ticking. Maybe that'll solve a tiny bit of it. Whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna put this in the case. We're gonna see what happens. I'm curious. I feel like that's gonna put so much stress on the USB-C port. Oh my God. All right, time to put a lot of stress on the USB-C port, gamers. Oops. Let's see. Just got here, what did he break? I didn't break anything, Hellmage. They sent it to me like this. This is stereotypical. People say, let's send Hippio a prototype, but make sure that it has a lot of issues. Because they wouldn't send anybody else, you know, a bad prototype, just Hippio. Where's my bit? Where's my bit? There it is. How is it brokey? The plate is incredibly warped. Okay, wow stick. Wow. Honestly, I think this board needs a daughter board. Because it puts a lot of strain on the USB-C port. I broke nothing. Kieran, I broke nothing. What broke? The plate was incredibly warped. And we fixed it by about 1 to 5%, I'd say. 1 to 5%. Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out. I think my breakfast got here. I'm assuming my breakfast got here. Let me check in a second. Um. Hold on. Ba -ba 
Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Breakfast! Okay. Yeah, my breakfast got here like 30 minutes ago. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my breakfast. I know it's noon. This is when I eat breakfast, CEO. I'm sorry, all right? Listen, I'll be right back. I'm gonna bring an egg sandwich. It's gonna be great. Stick around. Stay here if you wanna find out whether or not the board works. Hello. Thank you for your patience. I have obtained breakfast. Also, I'd like to say, um, I think I'm getting close to revealing my rap song. I don't know if my donation counter is working correctly, but I'll give you a nice little teaser when we hit 100%. Anyways, here's my breakfast. Hope you guys are doing great. This is not Chipotle, no. It's an egg sandwich. Egg. Thank you, Joseph. I actually really dislike Chipotle quite a lot. Yeah. really delicious. So out of love with you now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't like Chipotle. Quite yummy. I mean, no matter what, even if this board doesn't work, at least we have egg sandwich. 
Oh, hey, Marco. Good to see you here. Mm. Chipotle is overrated. For sure. Mm. That's not even preference, honestly. I'll get way more opinionated about fast food than I will keyboards. Mm. Oh yeah. Alpacas are always out of stock everywhere I look. Oh yeah. Mm. We should make GMK hot tub stream. That could be kind of cool. It's just a bikini. Thoughts on Taco Bell. It's not bad. In fact, it's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Listen, if I had a hot tub, I would do a hot tub stream. 100%. Um, I don't know anything about those switches. Sorry, Salty. Mm. Domino's is significantly better than Pizza Hut nowadays. Mm. Let me just get a nice little backyard pool. <clears throat> Pool stream, please. Thanks, Marco. If I get a hot tub, I will do hot tub stream big time. But mm, I'm afraid I don't have a hot tub. How much did you pay for that? I don't, I don't want to talk about it, Ryan. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, hmm. What's everybody's go-to breakfast? Like, what do you guys eat for breakfast like every day? What's your go-to? Mine is a breakfast sandwich of some kind. Mm. Typing of the dead at any percent when? My hands would be so sore. Oh, man. Mm. Pancake, cereal, protein bar. First thing I see. Mm. Leftovers from the night before. Now that's big brain seal. That's what I do most of the time. I almost ate my leftovers for breakfast. And I was like, I kind of want breakfast sandwich that's a little bit sussy eh mystery pop tarts mmm oh that sounds great Joseph that sounds freaking fantastic egg oh drink maple syrup we found the Canadian we found the Canadian Oh yeah, we got sharp cheddar in here. I've been eating burrito tacos for all my meals for two days because I made too much. Please God help me. That that doesn't sound like a bad time. <laughs> Sounds like a great time. <clears throat> oh man, Canadian crumpets. I'm Canadian too though. Pan cooked eggs. Meanwhile, I'm fixing. A Dedo HP pre-built for a client. Well, pan-cooked eggs are pretty good. Mm. Honestly, here's the thing. When I make leftovers and get to eat it for like four days, I'm so stoked. But my food allergies dictate that I basically have to eat like the same thing every day anyways. 
So when I have that much bulk food made, I'm so content. Like if I can just go to my fridge and have really good leftovers, just like bop, 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 I'm so happy. Hmm. 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 You have food allergies? Yeah. I have like hundreds. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's pretty bad. Um, other than cooking a large portion, ever get into meal prep? Honestly, no. Um, simply because I just like, I just make large portions, and that's what I do. Um, never been big on the meal prep vibe. Yeah. Would you recommend streaming on YouTube over Twitch? If you're trying to build a YouTube following, streaming on YouTube helps that immensely. If you're trying to stream on Twitch and build a Twitch following and just get big and you don't care about YouTube, Twitch is better. But if you're someone like me that's trying to grow primarily a YouTube following, then streaming on YouTube, mm, pardon burps, streaming on YouTube feeds incredibly well into that. For example, here's a here's a pro influencer tip. That sounds incredibly dumb. Let's say you send a message in my chat right now. So send a message in my chat, say hello in my chat. Congratulations, you've just engaged with my channel. You will now get my re videos recommended more. Therefore, just by having a stream up, if someone comes in, they say, wow, this guy's cringe. They get to see my videos more. Whereas on Twitch, if I'm trying to grow a YouTube following, someone says hello on my chat on Twitch, they don't even know that I make YouTube videos. Thank you for saying hello, by the way. Thank you so much. That's great. So now all of you will get recommended my videos more. Isn't that great? You don't have to spam hello. You could just say it once. That's fine. Oh, well. Um, I got a donation. Sorry, let me look at the donation. Um, <clears throat> Daniel, you should do a stream where you let your viewers buy keyboard stuff and then build it with unlimited budget even buy from mech market that would be incredibly fun if i could land a sponsor or something to sponsor the buying with an unlimited budget because i'm pretty poor and i'm trying to afford rent in an expensive city at some point soon so that's a bit of an oof i'm doing great nathaniel thanks for asking yeah add lube to the sandwich ding this guy cringe Mm. Can you stream on both at the same time? Technically, no. Uh, Twitch's contract is incredibly, incredibly controlling. You cannot stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time if you're partnered on Twitch. Unless you have an exclusive partnership contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you have to pick your battles. Yeah, I totally feel that, Marco. I want to buy a house in a year or so, and I have to control the keyboards that I buy because I want a house. Then don't partner. There's no point on streaming on Twitch if you're not a partner. Hmm. Yeah. This stream's kind of lit. Well, I'm glad you like me eating an egg sandwich. I appreciate that. I love the bromat too. I get just pet glorses whenever I want. If you're not partnered, just use Restream. I don't... What? Well, I... I don't know. Partner program gets you a lot better rates on Twitch. Um, the default rates on Twitch are significantly worse than YouTube's default rates for just being a basic affiliate or whatever. 
um, partnering is what gets you the better payout. From my, from what I've been told, I could be wrong. Twitch's default cut though is pretty gross compared to YouTube's default cut. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Can you slap Glarses? No, Glarses is very kind. Why would I slap him? Okay. Anyways, the sandwich is very. Um, the sandwich was very thocky. Yeah. Let me just use a buzzword. Thock thock thock. Thock 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 thock. There we go. I could give Glarses a kiss, but not right now. I'll do that off stream. I'll do that off stream. Yeah, I could give, for every donation, I'll give Glarses a head pat today. How about that? One donation equals one Glarses head pat. Or one join, one exclamation point join equals one Glarses head pat. How about that? Looking for the thawk. But um, since it's been a bit since I asked this and we've got new people on stream, um, I'm doing a 24 hour join-a-thon soon, which is gonna be like a subathon on Twitch, but on YouTube. Um, what would you like to see me do for 24 hours? Let's say I'm streaming for 24 hours. What would make you stick around and watch me for as long as possible? What would do that? Giveaways for sure. I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways. Ah, oh, thanks, Joseph. Let me give Garces a head pat for you. Thanks. Lube the hippo switches? I've actually already done that. Uh, I did that in my hippo switch review. Make sure you check that out. Oh, oh. Thank you, Fenny. Thank you for supplying Garces with a head pat. Oh, Hellmage. Thank you so much for the five. You know what? For, for the five, I'll give him five head pats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Everyone join now. Yeah, so everyone has to join now, and then I could just keep giving. This will just become a head patch stream. Oh, well. Switch tier list? I kind of did a switch tier list on my last stream. I, I'm i worried that it'll get too toxic, though. With tier lists, so you're kind of just asking for toxicity. I don't know that I want that. Okay. So, God, this thing is so heavy. Okay, let me try and assemble this. Stream a behind the scenes of one of your videos. So a fun fact about a lot of my streams, Daniel. Oh, let me give head pats on. A fun fact about a lot of my streams is that I almost always am recording for some type of video while I stream. So in a way, the, my streams are just the behind the scenes for my videos. But I try and keep that pretty low key because um, I, I want people to still watch my videos. There's a lot of info that I'll just like save for the final video and, and that type of thing. The plate is just too warped for the space bar to work. Editing included. Maybe I could do an editing stream. Usually I save that for members in Discord. I'll often do editing streams for members in Discord. Um, Hippio, what's your t-shirt size? I think I'm a men's medium. I think. Something like that. I could flip the space bar and it should be okay. The plate is super warped. The 
usually flipping the space bar will work. Nope. Oops. I didn't break it. They sent it to me broken. I never said anywhere that I broke it. You make something in CAD. I am so inexperienced with CAD. I, like theoretically, I could try and figure it out. I have a friend that's really good at computer programming. Um, and he said he'd show me how to like program a macro or something. I think that could be fun. Favorite keycap profile, maybe OEM. Design a keycap set. That's actually kind of a good idea, Matt. Um, but yeah, the plate on this keyboard is warped. Super warped, even. Like, potentially irredeemably warped. I need them to send me a new one. Wait, is that the wrong? I need a reference keyboard. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the wrong way. Or wrong, wrong keycap. Replace it. They they need to send me a new one. Um, I don't know if they will. I might just scrap this whole board. Q W E R T Y U I O P. I wonder if I use a different switch for the spacebar, if that'll solve some of the return issues. Um, what does the number in the bottom left represent? I. It's kind of just like a vague donation goal. For me giving a little teaser of my rap song. Sorry, I'm trying to focus here. <clears throat> I'm seeing if I can't just super torque these screws. And if that will help fix some of the plate warp. Super torque. You know you have two wow sticks if you know what I mean. I hate that. I hate that. Design PBT Toby round two. I'll show up in a random outfit. Oh no. Oh no. That'll go over well with Geek Hack. That'll be so funny. Damn it. Let me try. It's not the stabilizer. Let me try a different switch. Let me try a five pin switch that might stay in a little bit better. Do you recommend the mode 60? Are you talking about the mode 65? Um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna try a milky yellow. 6.25 on a 65% is so ugly. What? That's like pretty standard. Okay, let me try. Nope. 
I wonder... Is it the stabilizer not wanting to return? Seven you, you just looks better? Um... I guess I disagree, but that's fine. Let me try wiping some of the XHT off. And then let me put a really strong spring. You love the mouse pad? Thank you. Shout out Glarsis. We love Glarsis. We like the Glars. I like to joke that I'm on the Glarsis rocket. Because <laughs> Glarsis is just making like all keyboard YouTubers just explode. And I like, I'm not anywhere near as funny or talented or, you know, creative as Glarsis, but I make videos. That's fun. Okay. Saved. It's a decently impressive sounding board for having such a scuffed plate, you know? Well, it's not bad for having such a scuffed plate. Um, so switches, KTT Roses, with a salmon on the space bar because I needed a stronger spring. Um, music back on, good idea. Yeah, so switches, KTT Roses, lubed, Crytox 205-0, space bar is a unlubed salmon. Doesn't feel good, but it's okay. Hey, yo, I miss you. Oh, just watch my videos, I'm always here. But I'm, I'm glad you're back on the stream. Yeah. So it's not bad. Is the ID67 south facing? The one that's for sale right now is south facing, yeah. I'll have an ID67 video out sometime in the future. Um, I'm helping one of my friends build a board and they actually wanted the ID67. So yeah, I've, I've, I've given a mine to build. So but uh, we'll be building the north facing version, but we'll be building it with um, 
keycaps that won't have interference, so it'll be it'll be no big deal, no difference really. What happened to them matcha switches? They're in my cupboard. <laughs> They're just chilling in my cupboard. Yeah. So this is the Sun 68, and I feel like we got most of the warp at least under control. It's such a heavy board. It's so heavy. Like, I feel like I'm doing a workout just to lift this. I have not Blanca. But it's really sexy. Like, look at that butt. Mm. Heft is good. I like to move around my keyboard a lot, though, so I don't like a keyboard that's too heavy, actually. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind this layout. It's, I, like, honestly, I don't use right shift ever. So I kind of prefer having a 175U just because it's one less stabilizer to loop. You know? You get me? Um, I'm gonna have to find, so what's in Halu, Halu Halo? Like, what's, uh, what's the recipe? Because if it's dairy-based, I'm gonna need to find the lactose-free version. Um, I don't honestly know if I could eat it with all my food allergies, but I do want to try it. The spacebar is so interesting. The keycap compatibility? Yeah, I mean, it's got better keycap compatibility for sure. So that's good. It's dairy-based. There's got to be a lactose-free version somewhere, right? Flan, taro ice cream, corn, beans, milk, and so much more. I think the beans would be a no-go. That's a bit of a bummer. Rip. Am I saying it right when I say halu halo? Like, I think that's right, right? Maybe. Halo halo. Um, most beans I cannot have. I cannot consume. What's your current daily driver? My current daily driver, I actually can't show you right now because it has keycaps on it that are top secret. Um, but it's the ID80 Crystal. It's still maintained as my daily driver. Even through other boards that have taken over temporarily. Like there's various boards that I'll use from time to time. Like the Niz boards. I, I really like to use the Niz boards when my fingers are sore. Is the Sun 68 good? Uh, if they could fix the plate issue, for the price, I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah. If they can fix the plate issue. If they can't fix the plate issue, no. Don't get it. But they've told me that they will. Uh, but you can only take that with so much grain of salt. You know? Sometimes they put jello in hollow hollow. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty freaking good. Um, the switches I use in my daily driver are Gateron Milky Yellows. Because honestly, they sound pretty freaking good and they feel pretty freaking good. So, you know, what can I say? Yeah, I'm curious to try those Vint Cherry Blacks as well, Toby. That sounds interesting. That sounds very interesting. Where do you buy banana splits in Canada? I don't know. Oh, you know, I guess what we should do is test to see how many bent pins I have. Place your bets. I'm gonna bet I have at least seven bent pins. Let's find out. Let's test bent one. I am very surprised here. Hold on. Two. Maybe three. 
I think three bent pins total, possibly four. Three to four total. That's incredibly impressive on my part. For, for the way that I put these in, if you were watching earlier in the stream, when I put these switches in the board, ugh. Like if I saw somebody doing that, I'd go, what the hell are they doing? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But yeah, don't try it at home. My whole mantra should be don't try it at home, really. Oh man. There's my nine key working again. Nice. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Bro, does anyone here watch Hippiotech, dude? That guy's freaking cringe, bro. Wait, what? Uh oh. Okay, we're good. I was thinking that the shift key didn't work, but it's actually that the right key registers as a left shift. That's very odd, but whatever. Bro, are any of you members of the Watering Hole Gang with Hippiotech? How many of you clicked the join button down below to become a member of Hippiotech? Huh? How many? How many of you clicked the join button down below? I bet not enough of you. It's like a Twitch subscription, you guys. It's just, it's like a Twitch subscription. Or like a Patreon. It helps me make more content, honestly. That way I don't have to go get a stinky job or whatever. You can become a lame YouTuber forever. I'm not. <laughs> nice, Joseph. You really got me. That must be the function button. Must be. I click the button and it won't let me stop. Please, I can't afford to feed my family. That's perfect. So, okay, so let me let me pitch this to you real quick, all right? Let me pitch this to you real quick. So, the join button is a group buy for more Hippiotech videos. Do you like Hippiotech videos? Do they keep you entertained from time to time? Do they help you make informed decisions about what you're gonna purchase? Well, that's freaking weird. But by clicking the join button down below, you're entering the group buy for a new Hippiotech video. You know what the lead time is for your average Hippiotech video? Six days sometimes five. That is significantly better than two years like what you're looking at with GMK. Therefore, you should join the Hippiotech group by and click that join button down below. Join the Hippiotech group by, everyone. I hate group buys, kind of, but join the Hippiotech group by. Yeah, it's a good one. You could do it. I'll also pat glasses on the head or whatever, if you want. For only the price of five Telios per month, you can become a member of the Watering Hole Gang. We have an exclusive chat in our Discord where we like to have lots of fun. Am I right, members? Yeah. Oh, that's a bent pin. Joining the Hippio Tech channel is the only group buy that's actually worth it. And that's a fact. Except from a group buy that I'll be running later this year. That's probably worth it too. But, you know, the Hippio Tech group buy is really the only group buy that's worth it. <laughs> My 12th keyboard could really use those Telios. You know what, Stan? I totally understand. I'm just here to shill. It is what it is. Listen, if I get 2,000 members, I can finally uh, buy a hot tub for my streams. Okay, there we go. All the keys are fixed. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I'll give Glarsus some, some pets. All right. Um, so this is fixed-ish. Did we get good gasket performance out of it? Let's find out. No. Boop. 
Average use, no gasket. Gasket do nothing. Average use, gasket do nothing. Thoughts on the upcoming F-284? Uh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Hey, Hippio, just wanted to say thanks for inspiring us. Building my first keyboard next week. GK61 with NK Creams and PBT Sushi. Nice. Very nice. I'm glad I can help inspire people to build keyboards and have fun. Yeah. I've been using a membrane keyboard for eight years. Does that mean you're eight years old? Hmm. This up arrow sounds the best of any key I've ever heard. That might be the best sounding key ever. Maybe ever. Maybe ever. I mean, hmm. I wonder. What should I do for the rest of the stream, guys? Should I just end the stream there? Are we done? Are we done? Should we just chill out? Oh, thanks, Jaden. I'll give Glarsus a pet for you. Thanks, Jaden. Hmm. Hum. Don't end stream. Um, so the plate was super warped. Uh, we kind of fixed it a little bit. We fixed it by about 1%. It's all put together now. Um, I just got here. Well, geez. You guys should get subscribed and turn on notifications. That way you know when I'm streaming la later. Can I get on a, a date on the hot tub stream? Oh, no. Oh, no, Will. Well, whenever I get 2,000 members. Hot tub stream at 2,000 members. Yeah. Are these marshmallows? No, they're KTT roses. Do a game show with random Discord members? Hmm. I could maybe play Minecraft with my Discord members. Uh, do any of my members still play on my Minecraft server? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't think so. Hmm. It's my first time in a Hippio stream. Well, welcome to a Hippio stream. Can you test how fast you can type? We could do that. We could do that. Oh God, hold on. Hold on. Let me do type test dot, oh yeah. Hey, Akia or Akila, Akia Vega. Welcome to the watering hole gang. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna drink some water in your honor right now. Welcome. Make sure, new member, make sure you link your Discord and your YouTube. That way you get access to my exclusive members only channel in my Discord. Head pads. There we go. Okay. So let me show this. Let me give you a quick little type test. Uh, this won't be my fastest. I'm really, I'm really out of practice with typing, honestly. nine it's not that bad it's not too bad thank you so much south let me give clarissa's a head pat there you go thank you i bet if i do another one i'll get like 80 wait you guys want to hear the toby board 
You guys want to hear the PBT Toby board? Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I got a little bit of sand in it. If it sounds scratchy, blame the sand, you know? That's what I say. This is iconic. I bet I bet you never thought you'd get a selfie with Glarsis, Toby. That's crazy. Two legends in one picture. Wow. That's great. Choke. That was a big choke. Okay, no more typing tests because my fingers are actually really sore. But I choked really hard. Muffled bubble wrap. That's an interesting take, yeah. You guys like my animation I did for it? I had to do this myself, alright? I'm not very good at animating. So it's super janky. It like janks around right there. Yeah. But I, I tried, okay? I think there's a stuck frame where it bounces right here. But it's fine. That's true, I did say I was gonna get 80. Yeah, that's funny. But Toby's kinda cute. If I wanted to send everybody a really scuffed Toby set, I could run with this manufacturer. But this set is so scuffed. I want a different manufacturer. Tweak the colors a little bit. Just a little bit. But, you know, Toby's cute, I guess. He's very quirky. Very quirky. But not bad, you know. I got my set created in, like, a month or so. Two prototypes, even. That B is out of place? That's the point, yeah. That's his nose. That's his nose. JTK seems fine. Yeah, that's Toby's nose. Yep. So that's normal. Um, I should be checking out a KBD67 light sometime in the next month or two. Is there a way to fix a bent pin on a switch? Yep. You take some tweezers, you pinch the pin, and you bend it back. So here, let me show you. So, here's a bent pin on my KTT Rose. So you just take some tweezers, pinch the pin, and then just bend it back. Just like that. Oh, <laughs> my battery cut out. But you get the point. You get the point. Um, I cannot disclose the factory I've used simply because uh, they're not very good. And I don't want people harassing them. That's classic timing, though. There we go. Toby's back. That's comparing two budget switches and an expensive switch. So that's kind of a bad comparison there, Darkness. Yeah, it's kind of a bad comparison. Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> um, but, yeah, anyways, I do have a rap song that I'm working on. Um, I think I'm actually going to go work on it more right now, which means I'm not going to stream anymore. So, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed the stream oh what the hell 
That's my full Firefox. There we go. I really hope you guys did enjoy the stream. Um, I hope you had a great time today. Um, I hope that you had fun with the little build. I hope you had fun hanging out. I hope it was nice and chill. If you just got here and you want to see more streams, please, I beg of you, hit the join button down below. That helps me out so much. It's like the subscribe button on Twitch, but it helps way more than a Twitch sub does. Way more than a Twitch sub does. So please hit that join button down below. Thank you. Then I can review more keyboards for you. Thank you to all the people that showed up today. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, freaking Fenny, for all the donations today. And freaking Marco and Joseph and Kieran and Marcus and Cool Keys and Angelico. Yeah, those are all the homies. Thank you so much. I know it was like two weeks since I had streamed. I'll stream more soon, I promise. This, uh, I might do a gaming stream tomorrow, something like that. But anyways, y'all take care. I'll see you later. Hope you have a great rest of your day. However much there is left in your day. Who knows? <laughs>